Hi there and welcome to the channel and thank you very much for taking your time to come and join me on this one. If you're new around here, please check out our other videos and consider hitting that subscribe button. Yeah, so I've came out today and what I thought I'd do, I thought I would share with you a bit of a bushcrafty type project. Um, it's an idea that I had some time back. I've made it in the past and included it in videos, but never actually shown how to make it. Um, it's a bit of a Native American inspired idea, this, um, from looking in books and one thing and another. And what it is I'm going to make today is a backrest. You know what it's like, often when we're out on camp, we'll uh, have our fire in a bit of an open space. We'll be sitting there in front of it and we'll have nothing to rest our back on, which sometimes can lead to a bit of a sore back for myself personally. Uh, get a little bit of backache. And all we need is a few little resources from around the woodland, a little bit of cordage, a bit of knot tying skills, and that's about it. So stick around and I'll bring you along and we'll see how we're going to get on with this. Right then I've gathered a lot of the materials I need to do this project. I've been quite fortunate in this woodland a few years ago they were doing some clearing work uh, so there's plenty of resources left over so that's quite been quite fortunate for myself. We'll put that down for a moment and I've just brought out some string. This is just bog standard string that you can buy in any supermarket, just cheap string, less than a pound for a few, few balls of string. Um, you can use bank line, you could use paracord, whatever is your preference but I'm just going to use this. I've used it in the past for this project and it worked really well so we're going to give it another go. Right then these two pieces are going to be our main frame for the uh, backrest so we just need to lash them together so they're crossed over like that and then we'll have some cross members going along there. We'll just take our cordage like so and what we'll do we'll just create a loop one end we'll double that over so we're left with that we'll take that round on our first piece pull that through just cinch that over that knot so we want that like that and then we'll take the other piece and we'll just simply lash them together. There we can see we've tied, lashed that round. We've brought the cordage through there to make it nice and tight. I'll just finish it off now. Bring that round. Create a loop. one more pull that through there there we go nice and tight
there we have our frame for our backrest it's all sturdy now all we need now to complete this is a piece of wood in the shape of a Y to run down we've got a piece here so that will support that like so we just need to trim these ends off a touch and then that'll be our bushcraft backrest complete and then we can try it out There we go, that's a backrest complete. It's doing an absolute fantastic job. Nice comfy position. I've just got the firebox just there in front of me. That could quite well easily be a campfire. I'm just sitting around camp and enjoying it. The moment I'm enjoying the sunshine coming through the trees and I'm enjoying some coffee. When it just doesn't get much better. This is a fantastic little project. I definitely recommend giving it a go. Um, saves carrying a chair into camp like I say I've just got one of these foam mats that we kneel on and what have you to sit on I could quite easily put my jacket over the back of that for a little bit more comfort or... right I'm going to end the video here I'm going to spend a little bit more time in the woodland enjoying a bit of relaxation time cook some food on the firebox and enjoy the sunshine I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope um, you found it useful and it in encourages you to have a go yourself at making this. It's at, like I say, it's ideal for around camp. Uh, I'd just like to say stay safe. If you're new around here, please subscribe and please give the video a thumbs up. I really would appreciate it.